Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over the Google Nexus tablet. Of course, out of all the Android tablets so far, probably the most successful has been the Amazon Kindle Fire. And considering that Amazon pretty much stripped all the Google out of Android, I don't think they're all that happy about it. So today we're going to be talking about Google's answer to all this, the Nexus tablet. Earlier this year at CES, I was at the press conference when Asus announced their ePad Mimo 370T. This is a quad-core tablet with a 7-inch screen and a price of only $249. However, it seems that Google and Asus have gotten together and decided to cancel the ePad and instead turn it into the Nexus tablet. Most of the specs should carry over from the Mimo including the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor, which is in many of the most powerful Android phones and tablets right now, as well as a 7-inch display, front and rear-facing cameras, as well as only a Wi-Fi model. The major difference, however, is going to be price. Two of the major competitors are going to be the Amazon Kindle Fire as well as the BlackBerry Playbook, both of which are currently selling for $200. It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if Google's able to slash the price down to $200, perhaps by offering only 8GB of storage with an expandable microSD card slot. One of the major benefits of going with the Nexus tablet is the fact that it's going to have a pure stock version of Android, so you don't have to worry about scans, blowware, anything like that. And on top of that, Google usually updates their Nexus devices with firmware updates first. The Nexus tablet is expected to be announced at Google I.O. in June, and most likely to go on sale sometime in the middle of July. So what do you think? Would you be interested in a Nexus tablet for $200? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Play and a price of $249. However, it seems that Google has actually got together with this with this, with this, perhaps by offering only 8 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD example. Example, what? Two of the major competitors are going to be the Amazon Kindle Fire as well as the Blackberry Playbook, and both of these are $200. So it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if Apple, Apple, quad core processor, 7 inch display, as well as probably only Wi Fi. What am I talking about?